we're going to dispute a Christian. I trust the Word of God, the entire Bible, okay, over the Word of fallen man, okay. I can prove unequivocally that salvation is by faith, always has been, always will be. And I can prove it using the Old Testament and Hebrews, Peter, James, and Revelation. Now, this fellow watched one of my Paul videos, and he has not left since. That's all he's been doing. Well, I ain't quote a Paul, but that's why you're here. Okay, now, crap. You said you can prove it unequivocally. It's by faith in Hebrews, Peter, Old Testament, James, and Revelation. Let's go see. James. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. Works means obedience. Obeying the Lord. Okay. There's a significant difference in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. That perfect obedience to the law was necessary for salvation. Paul's fundamental complaint with the Jews of this day was not that they excluded Gentiles. So, obedience obedience was necessary in the Old Testament. Now, I, okay, and I will kill her children with all death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. Now, this is how he's going to judge. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Whether they be good or whether they bad, you get rewarded. The reward relies on the works, on the obedience, and the faith you had. If you have no faith, you have no works. Like James said, now we're told James proves it's by faith alone. No. It says Old Testament is unequivocally faith alone. No. Hebrews. Where was it? I uh, hope it's still there. I just saw it. Oh. Though he were a son, yet he learned obedience by things which he suffered. Okay, wait. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that what? Faith in him? No, it says obey. Let's get back up here. Though he were a son, yet he learned obedience. Jesus knew obedience. Jesus knew it. But he had to learn it from the things which he suffered? No, that's why he came. He knew it. Before he came down, he knew he was going to be put to death and suffer for his obedience to the Father. Now, and being made perfect. So Jesus was not perfect until we killed him. Really? That is this... Hold on, I'm going to I'm gonna block this for a second. I'm changing my ways. It's called works. Now, we just saw in the Old Testament, in James, Hebrews, Revelation, obedience. So he's sitting here saying he can prove it unequivocally. Show me. Post a video. Make a video. Show us your work in studying the Word of God and proving it was by faith only. Prove it. I just sat here and went through them three books. Revelation. Yeah, we went through Revelation. Peter, James, Hebrews. Did we, get, did we go to Peter? Let's go. I think I forgot one. Oh, yeah. I got to go this one and this one. Ah. Okay, let's go up. I think I got that open somewhere. All right. Uh, let's go here. I think it might have been here. Yeah. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love by the brethren. Obedience. So every one, the Old Testament we saw it, 
Ah, the Old Testament we saw. So, if he's going to prove it, faith only through obedience always has been, and he's going to use them books that he told me, how come it's not working out like he said? You know? It is not faith only. Never has been. Never in a million years has been faith only. 